Hello, um, <clears throat> I'm just doing a quick vlog, vlog, whatever the hell, um, it's because I'm bored and it's one something in the morning and I can't really sleep, so, yeah, I was bored and I was playing with my hair, um, I've gotten so bored of it, like, I need a haircut really bad and then to dye it, um, my hair, it looked cooler because this, this was like spiked out like more. It was like staying up way better. My hair does, I, I need stronger hairspray. I use some stuff that's by got to be, you know, got to be glued. Um, it's called Rockin' It Forever Style Stay Encore Hold Hairspray. It's weightless, movable flex. You know, it's nice, it's like softer and it smells really good. Like it smells like cologne-ish, you know, cologne like kind of scent is it, it smells nice um, I'm not gonna lie but my only problem is it's just not that strong it's great for when if I straighten my hair and I have my bangs a certain way I can kind of spray and it keeps things generally in place but if like I'm trying to do something more interesting it doesn't you know do it it just gonna bleh. my hair doesn't hold like anything I, I don't know it tees like at all um I once was uh, it was a zombie for Halloween and I'm gonna be one again um, but a couple years back, I was a zombie. It's a generic kind of zombie. And I just teased the living hell out of my hair. Like, it was a train wreck. And it was, like, flat for the end of the day. Like, I'm like, how do you, how does my hair do that? My, I don't know, my, my, um, hairdresser, she's like, oh, you just have really healthy hair and stuff. And I'm like, eh, for sure. But I want it to stay teased to hell, you know. Um, I'm not trying to make my hair ginormous. Cause, no, but I was just kind of playing with it and, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, I would suggest this hairspray if you just need something to kind of hold your hair in place and you want something that doesn't smell disgusting. Totally go for this stuff. But I want to get, I need stronger hairspray if I actually want to do anything. I just need to get a haircut. I want to get my hair cut really short and I'm going to dye it red and black and be more interesting. My green's fading. There's like, where is it? Yay, that's still bright. But I like manic panic dye. It lasts for a while, so I know it's pinned. My bangs are really long. Like I want them more like to kind of be less, not as long. Um. Also, um, I recently came across a YouTuber that I think is really cool, and uh, her, her username is Pink Wonderland Roses. I'll like put a link but I think she's she's just adorable um she's really like she's like I think she said 13 or almost 13 but she's like her videos are so like I actually recorded a video response to one of her videos which I might upload later like this happened like tomorrow technically it's today you, you know what I mean I might upload later but she like her some of her views are just so like she's just it's very mature like she was taught one of her videos about like <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me, toddlers and tiaras and stuff like that, you know, like those children pageant shows, yeah, um, but she's, she's really cool, I thought she was adorable, and she, like, kind of, she's into, like, Lolita fashion, which is awesome, like, I, I think that's cute and stuff, because Lolita, I don't know, I like Lolita, um, stuff, but, um, yeah, so, Today wasn't very exciting. I got some new nail polish. I'm not much of a nail person, but I like these. They're like 99 cents at Walgreens. I'm actually wearing the kind of black on my fingernails, and I have like the shatter, the OPI shatter. I have red and black, and I have black with the red over it. It's hard to see. It would be hard to see on the camera, but and then I have, yeah, this. And so, I don't know. Whatever. Isn't that exciting? I have apparently family, like second cousin dead family coming in and I have to go to dinner and <sighs> my grandparents and I just, I don't know, I don't really, kind of my family is, I love my family but I'm just not very like, I don't know, I'm kind of weird I guess you could say and now that I have these I'm going to be even weirder. Um, I'm like quiet artist person and you know, my a lot of my cousins are like athletes crap and I'm like uh, I don't care you know I you know but no one really seems too interested in what I do like I'm just not really looking forward to going because people just aren't that interested in me I don't know um 
so it's just kind of like I'm very, I don't know, and then my aunt is like super into photography and she like was really monopolizing conversations about it. I'm just thinking like, you know, yeah, it's an art form that's cool, but LAM, I mean, I can take a decent picture too. I don't know. I just, photography is fun. Like, I like photography. I'm not gonna, like, lie. It's cool, but it's kind of like one of those things that I don't find it that hard to do. It takes a, just takes an understanding of composition and lighting, you know, shadows and color theory, you know. I mean, it's, you know, if you're an artist, you can probably do photography if you know how to work a camera because as an artist you know what composition color theory and all that are you know how to kind of work that and then if you're fancy you know photoshop you know but i don't know i i think that it's just like really i spent like a gajillion hours on that painting and you're gonna boast about a photo you know like because my grandparents have a couple of my paintings um when I did of my cat Fred, and one I did as a takeoff of Monet's woman with the parasol, and I it was a takeoff. Um, any of my friends like Sky, if you watch, you know I'm D's dad is do takeoffs. Um, that was mine, and it was myself holding an umbrella, and I was wearing a black skirt and a shirt, and and my my like the where the sun is, I put my cat in a V. And then it was kind of weird, so I put uh, my rabbit, and my then, at the time, I had a guinea pig, and she was also in it. And Neve was wearing a hat. Like, I had this little mini hat that has a veil, like, well, it's not really, it's like a fishnet part. And I put that, well, I didn't, you know, I, I thought it was cute. <laughs> but, um, so it's kind of like I have these, uh, just, I don't know, I don't like to, and I don't like to sit up and be like, I'm an artist, you know. I don't like, you know, I just kind of keep to myself. But it's just kind of like. I don't know. And it's not like art is totally disrespected in our family. I mean, uh, my Ralph Fisher Skelton um, is a painter in our family. We have some of his stuff. So, I mean, our family is like, not against art or anything. They don't like disrespect it or something, but it just seems like I'm kind of the odd one out. Like, I dress differently than everyone, and I do different stuff, and I'm kind of... Nah. I don't really fit in super well. I mean, my... My grandparents and stuff are really the only ones, my grandparents and my parents and stuff are really the only ones that know me that well, and I mean, so, I don't know, I'm very different than my cousins and stuff, though I like my cousins, I, I don't, like, not get along with everyone, but, I don't know, Wendy, I don't really know, is she, like, an aunt, great aunt, or, I don't know what she is, but she's awesome, it's like a cousin or something, but she's really cool, but she lives in California, so... Wendy isn't really here, but she should come visit more because she's awesome. Um, I don't know. She's she's really cool. Um, but other than that, school's kind of meh. I've been sick. Like, this morning I woke up and I just, like, threw up. Don't know why. I just, I'm like, you know what, Terry, your stomach's going to just throw up. And then I felt sick all day. It was unpleasant. Uh, I get sick a lot in, in very inconvenient times. And that's when it always happens. I get sick at extremely inconvenient times. So yeah, um, I guess I'll end this. It's like eight something minutes long, but so, yep, that's, that's all there is really to say. So, talk to you later. Bye.